everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you a super useful trick that I've used countless times in my own programming projects. Have you ever needed to count the frequency of elements in an array using JavaScript? It's a common challenge that can be tricky to solve, but don't worry, I've got you covered. First, let's create an array of fruits. As you can see, we have an array with six elements, three apples, two oranges, and a banana. Now, let's create a function to count the frequency of each element in the array. Now, let's create a new map object to store each element and its frequency. Next, we will loop through the given array using for each method. Next step is to check if the element exists in the map, using the has method. If it exists, it increments the value by 1 using the get and set methods. If it doesn't exist, it adds it to the map with value 1. Finally, return the map. After defining the function, we can call it and log the result. Let's log the result in a table format, making it easier to understand and analyze data in a clear and concise manner. Here the console table function is displaying the size of the map object. This is because a map object stores key value pairs and is designed to quickly retrieve values based on their keys rather than to be iterated over like an array. To resolve this we need to convert map to an array like this. Here's the table with the frequency of each fruit. Let's try to remove some elements from the fruits array and see if the frequency of each fruit changes or not. Congratulations, you have now learned how to use the map object in JavaScript to count the frequency of elements in an array. 
Let's quickly summarize what I have covered in this video, I've introduced the concept of frequency counting, showed how to create a map object, and walked through a step-by-step -step process to count the frequency of elements in an array. I hope this video has been helpful in expanding your knowledge of JavaScript and programming. Don't forget to try this technique in your own projects and let me know how it goes in the comments section below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments as well. Thank you for watching and for your support. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials on JavaScript and programming. Let's continue learning and creating amazing things together.